Al, first, um, you know, what does it feel like to get this close to the title and fall short? And number two, you guys wanted to improve as a playmaking group this year, Jason and Jalen specifically, and to just have the turnovers increase the way they did at this level. What, what do you think that says about this group and what it needs to improve on going forward? Um, you know, obviously very tough uh, to, um, you know, to lose uh, and be in this position. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm very proud of our group. I'm very proud of, uh, of the growth of our group all year. Um, uh, you know, we went from a below 500 team, average team, to putting it together. And, um, and, and I don't want to get caught up in necessarily, you know, some of the bad stuff that happened tonight. Um, I want us to keep perspective on how much growth to your question, Jason and Jalen had this year. It's a lot on their hands. It's a lot of responsibility. And they took it in stride. They made adjustments. They improved. They grew as players. But as you can see, you know, there's still a lot of, a lot of growth and a lot of work for all of us. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, the Warriors definitely were on a different level. And, um, and uh, it's something that we have to accept and, and we all have to grow. John, right here in the front. John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Your first finals. Um, what did you learn yourself? What did you learn about yourself in, in these finals and, and how far even you have to go to help this team get back here. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, that definitely it's a huge learning experience. Um, just uh, from, uh, you know, the amount of attention, the, uh, the, the stage itself, everything that entails this. Um, also, uh, from uh, on the court for me individually, uh, just, uh, you know, seeing how I can just continue to be of impact and be of uh, be better, you know, for our group uh, moving forward. Um, so there's definitely a lot of growth, um, uh, and and with that, uh, just really appreciative of our of our fans here, our Celtics fans here. Um, all year, you know, they were they've been with us, and in these playoffs. Um, uh, it was very special, um, you know, obviously we wanted to do better, you know, for them, but, you know, they showed up, they, you know, they lifted us up all year with their great energy and, um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for, for all the Celtics fans out there. Brian, in third row. Brian Brown, Mass Life. Uh, Al, for, you know, for the way you guys came out in this game, what, in your mind, like what, beyond just the turnovers, like how did it kind of let it, you guys let it get away there and how tough was it just to, you know, try to climb that mountain the rest of the way when it seemed like they were hitting a shot whenever you guys got even semi-close? Uh, yeah, um, uh, you know, it's hard when you spot a team, you know, that many points. Uh, we started out well and then, you know, it, it got away from us. Offensive rebounds hurt us and then those turnovers really hurt us as well. Um, and uh, I felt like we kept fighting, but even when we fought and when we got to, I felt like striking distance, um, you know, we would turn the ball over again um, and we would, you know, do something that was unsound or unsolid. And it's hard, you know, when you have the momentum like that and, and you make a mistake and then they come down and score on the other end, um, it, it, it's difficult. Um, and for whatever reason, um, you know, we felt like we were in, in good positions, but, um, but obviously, you know, there's, uh, this is a good learning experience, you know, for us. Um, I really believe it, um, you know, for all of us, this type of game, this type of stage. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, you know, I felt like we got better as the playoffs went on. Each series, we, we found ways to figure it out, how to win. Um, and, and I've said this to you guys all year, but, you know, it, it's tough to win. Um, and, 
and our guys, you know, we kept finding ways, you know, all year to get it done. Um, and we, you know, we just couldn't get it done with uh, against this team. Mark on the right. Hey, Al. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald. Um, you know, you've talked about coming back here as being your second chance uh, to get this close and then sort of have it taken away. Just how is that hitting you personally right now? Um, well, it, it's difficult. Um, you know, obviously for me, um, you know, looking at this uh, great opportunity in front of us, um, but, uh, uh, you know, it just, it just wasn't meant for us this year. Um, you know, we fought really hard, you know, uh, I feel like we can hold our heads high. You know, we gave everything that, that we could, and um, and for me, I'm you know looking forward to next year. Um, uh, you know, this is a big summer. You know, for us uh, as a team, uh, individually, guys, to um, to get better, to to improve on this, and for us to take it to another level. Jay, last question here on the left side here before Jalen comes in. You've been on teams that have gone on deep playoff runs before and kind of never found the mix coming back from that to take another level to it. Um, what, what does this team in particular need to do to, to make sure that this is just a start? Um, um, it, it's something we have to hang on to this and, um, and we have to you know, make sure that we have a good summer. Um, and a good summer as far as uh, continuing to work and, and put in the work and get better and, and get prepared um, for next season. Obviously, you know, we'll take some time, but um, the, we have a great opportunity in front of us to get better this summer um, individually and then when we come together as a group and, and build from this. Um, you know, I felt like we, we did a lot of growth, had a lot of growing all of this season, and it's clear that we still have more to go. So um, I'm encouraged by that part, and that's going to be our challenge as a group to, to be better for next season.